Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm up to show 18. So we finally completed a collection and the first one we did was the hats collection. So you're probably wondering why we did that collection first and I will go over that. But just take a look at the rewards from this collection, this program. You get a souvenirs pack. You get a postseason flashback. David Price, which is an 80 overall card, has 92 hit per nine, 86 K per nine, 59 walk per nine. So the hit per nine and K per nine numbers are pretty good. Walk per nine number is not bad. And then he has the fastball slider and changeup relief pitcher. So a nice lefty out of the pen. It's not like a crazy good card, but it is a solid card for sure. Then we get an autograph pack. You get two universal profile packs. These are pretty useless in my opinion. At the very least, you should be able to sell them, especially if you get duplicates. Or not, not even like selling it in the market. Just be, having the ability to quick sell them for a couple extra stubs. Then you get two souvenirs pack. And a hardware flashback, Bryce Harper. This is an 82 overall card. He has 77 contact versus righties, 56 versus lefties, 67 power versus righties, and 55 versus lefties with 65 vision. So his hitting stats, they're okay. He's obviously better versus righties, but there's better gold cards out there already, I feel like. So it's not like a crazy good card, but it is a solid card for a gold card. And then fielding-wise, he has 72 fielding, 83 arm strength. 79 arm accuracy, 76 reaction, and 72 speed. So it's a good overall card, but like I said, there is better gold cards out there already. And then you get the program souvenir at 100%. So the reason that I did this is because, one, it's a program souvenir. I feel like in the future, this will be used for something. That's what I'm at least expecting. So we just did it to get that out of the way. The other thing is, souvenirs pretty much run this game. You need them for career arcs, immortals, even team epics. So getting this hat collection done early is a reason for that. Now, I plan on trying to get everything done, like all the team epics, all the immortals, all the career arcs, all the collections and everything. Like, I'm trying to get that done. So getting the hats done now early was a part of that because if you look at these, you're going to need these hats anyways to exchange them. So I might as well get them now. And then now whenever I get a hat, I can exchange it or I can sell it and make some stubs. So there is 80 hats overall, and I checked the market before I did this. It probably cost 30 to 35k if you had zero hats. So that's how much it would be to get all of these hats. But now with like the team epics out, I think some other collections give you hats and stuff. So you probably have at least 30 to 40 if you weren't trying to get this done, and then just buying the other remaining ones that you need. But if you had zero hats, it would take 30 to 35k to do this. That's why it's not really worth it. If you want it just for like the players like Bryce Harper and David Price are definitely not worth We'll say even 15k a piece because there's two different cards here They're not worth 15k, but combined 35k. It's not really worth it But like I said, the only reason we ended up doing this is because we're gonna do so many exchange rates or Exchanges that we might as well get it done and now whenever we get hats in the future We can just use them and exchange them and try to make some stubs or just make progress towards the team epics and immortals so that's pretty much the reason in doing it and the other one is like i feel like this is going to be used for something in the future but now that we have these hats done i thought about doing the same for the jerseys like the jerseys there's actually a much better reward in this garrett cole but there is 129 jerseys and some of these goes for a thousand to two thousand stuff so this d collection is definitely much more expensive i think it's going to go over like 100, 120K or something like that. So that is definitely a much bigger collection and much more stubs. And we just don't have that amount of stubs to do that right now. Same with like the bobbleheads because these are used for team epics. But I don't even think you can do these because there is not even 175 in the market to do that. Same with these autograph baseballs. You can't even get the 30% right now. And maybe even these ones. These are all diamond bats. So I don't know if the diamond bats you can do if there's 25 of these. But souvenirs run this game. Souvenirs run this game. So it would be wise to try getting these done early. So you can at least exchange them and go after all these. So now that we got all these hats, we can just go in and exchange them all. And we obviously need to buy some of them. But whenever we get a hat now, we can exchange it. We can sell it. Try to make some stubs. So my goal is actually to try getting all the exchange rates done early. Like that's what I want to get done first. Because they pretty much run the market. The souvenirs run the market. And once you get those out of the way, I feel like it's going to be so much easier to make stubs. Because right now when you make stubs and like you're trying to get these done, you got to put them back in to the souvenir so you can make progress 
towards these career arcs, these immortals, these team epics, like souvenirs pretty much make everything happen. Like that's the way to complete stuff, which I'm not really a fan of that, but that's how the game is. So the other thing about souvenirs is, like I said, they run the market. So souvenirs, if you're trying to make stubs, probably you should be flipping souvenirs because everyone needs them. They're easy to buy. They're easy to sell. And that's probably the easiest way to make stubs is just taking souvenirs and trying to flip them. Find a good price differential and take these and just try to make as many stubs as you can. Going back to the hats real quick, like I said, they cost 30 to 35k if you're trying to do the full collection. So for hats, I'm talking about selling out price. So you're putting in your own order. And if you do that, if you had zero hats, it would cost 30 to 35k, which like I said, it's not worth it for the cards that you get. But I feel like the program souvenir is going to be used for something in the future. At least I'm hoping for. But the hats, you definitely need them. You're going to exchange them anyways. So you might as well get them out of the way, get all the hats, get that program souvenir, and then you can use it into exchanging it for these players. And then whenever you get any other hat, you can just sell it, make some extra stubs, or do whatever you want with them. But that is going to do it for this one. So we got the hat collection done. Got David Price and Bryce Harper in the process. They're good cards, but nothing crazy. And throughout this week, we're going to work towards getting some more progress done in these career arcs, these immortals, some of these team epics, and everything else. Like, I'm trying to get these jerseys done, but we don't really have that many stubs. So I'm going to try to find a way to make some stubs, maybe flip some souvenirs or something like that so we can get on to getting these jerseys collections done and just having that same thought process with the hats, using that for the career arcs and the immortals. But we got some other videos planned for this week. I have some ideas of stuff that I want to do, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.